What is going on, everybody? It is King. Uh, we're in the episode three of the progress videos. We're in my storage room right here. I always love them. <laughs> now that I finally got rid of, I think that was this week, actually. I got rid of the uh, the villagers that were in here. Um, love this room, actually. So, and and I think it was either week one or two or something like that. You, you, you weren't really able to fully, you know, tell uh, what the storage room was all about. This kind of looks a little crazy in here because people gave me, like, birthday gifts and blah, 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 all kinds of stuff. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. I feel like every single time I start one of these videos, I'm always needing to sleep or something like that. This week was crazy, by the way. So there's a lot of new things. Uh, it should not take like too terribly long, but I am super, super pumped about this week. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a second. Um, so basically, if you guys don't know, by the way, I stream every single day of... Uh, I stream, I stream every single day on Twitch, uh, except for Sundays, and so basically, um, if you guys want to comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe to the channel, then you'll be entered into a giveaway every single Monday for free crowns, which is my uh, my stream currency. If you're YouTube only, then that doesn't really pertain to you as much, uh, unless you want to come, obviously, check me out on Twitch and whatnot, but uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So, the first build that I did on Monday was this, okay? This is... I have no idea how those became purple like that. But anyway, this is um, my like goals and buildings board, I guess you could call it. I'm very, 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 very excited about it. So basically what it is, once I kill these guys, is it is a uh, short term. So I got short term goals and builds. I have medium term goals and builds and I have long term goals and builds. Okay. And so short terms are everything I wanted to do this week. Uh, long, medium term or this month and long term are in the next three months right and so everything that has underlines underneath it like all those dashes those hyphens uh, those are things that I already did so everything this you know on this board was was not completed uh, and so now we've already done mine 100,000 blocks of stone this week uh, that's total by the way we'll get to the stats here in a second um, pool on top of the house map room big void glass area and make three more watchtowers the only one i did not complete was add two more layers to my mob tower then in the medium goals uh is mine 250k blocks of stone automatic cactus farm giant tower nearby which by the way <laughs> is finished uh which you guys will see in a second so i'll do cactus farm and then I'll, I'll just go ahead and put the hyphens so you guys don't have to watch me type in the whole thing huge storage silo area is done now make sugarcane farm guardian farm and castle with surrounding moat are three of those that are not completed and then in my long-term goals are mine a million blocks of stone get 10 full beacons make a creeper farm three fully enchanted sets of armor and tools entire shulker box full of maxed out picks and fantasy district so i'm very excited about that so as you can clearly tell um that's a stat but pool on house map room void glass area watchtowers here at store of the silo and cactus farm are all completed in just this week also I added these underneath here which show the date of each of these and what i did on them which i think is a really good idea so let me show you guys uh you know you guys had to wait you know a couple minutes now so let me let me let me show you guys what i'm talking about all right so i added uh, okay <laughs> okay so initially i'm trying not to look over to the left you'll see but i added this watchtower right there I added this watchtower right there and then I added uh, this watchtower right there okay with that little path all right this is what I did this week okay this is what I did this week right here this thing this building right here is my giant my map room which I'll show you guys in a second which I added this man-made mountain if you look at last week's this entire like mountain face here was completely flat it wasn't there uh, so I added that amazing staircase that goes up into my in my map room that goes also over to my 10th watchtower that's 10 total one two three four five six seven eight nine ten total um so that was on monday and then we built the map room also on monday with this and then the next day we did that and then the big void glass area which actually if you don't know how to do that uh, it's very simple i can make a video on it sometime if you guys want me to uh, but this build was just insane this is my cactus farm uh, I wanted to make each one of these colored beacons so I knew what were, you know, like landmarks, I guess you could call it. So let me let me take us down here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Also, on Monday we did a pool on top of the house, which this was such a cool build, honestly. I really, really, really enjoyed it. So we got like crystals hanging from, you know, the the, the roof here. We also have some uh, lanterns for uh, for light time or night and whatnot. Um, and it has like a deeper end section which you can actually, you know, go around swimming in and things like that. And um, 
And then if you want to chill with your boys, you got yourself a hot tub over here, which we added soul sand at the bottom to make the bubbles. So you can kind of just chill in here and have a nice, you know, relaxing jacuzzi time. It's a really, really cool build. As of right now, there's no stairs to get up here, so you just have to fly. Uh, we may or may not add that later. So let me show you guys what the map room looks like. Uh, also, uh, <clears throat> we took one of these cows out and we we actually made a mr moo okay and he's over here with the boys right we got we got mr moo he's chilling we got him with scato and argento our, our skelly horses but um anyway so we got our map room let's go up here and i'll show you what i'm talking about love this staircase love this build so we go in here these are all locked by the way this is what the inside of this build looks like. Again, we're going for a modern slash futuristic style. So that's why everything is looking, you know, all pristine and nice like that. Uh, this is progress support as of June 1st, 2020. So you can see, you know, where we are. This is the map room. Uh, that leads to absolutely nothing, which now is, you know, the watchtower. You'd have a big ass, you know, uh, cactus farm build here. You'd have all kinds of stuff. You know, we'd have um, one of those watchtowers there, one of those watchtowers there. Um, so there's, there's several things that are missing. We're going to do like... Uh, once per month or something like that there'll be like this progress then that progress and then that progress and then we could even do a secondary floor of progress where we can zoom in and look at it but I really like the idea of this map this actually believe it or not took me longer than I thought I kind of felt stupid doing it but uh, next up is gonna be our big cactus area which we actually leveled out this entire thing it was uh, I wish I would have taken a before and after screenshot actually I'm kind of upset at myself that I didn't but um, this was a nightmare actually this whole area was terrible before it might be in the past you know video I'm not sure but uh, all of this area was like five blocks taller uh, all of this was like five blocks taller than that was and then all of that cascaded down like five blocks below it was it was terrible so I, I made it all flat it was really nice uh, and we added um, the big void glass area so like now uh, it looks like it's a bottomless pit basically which is really really cool and if you put something like on on top like this look at this literally looks like it's floating but it's not, it's actually on the actual glass. It's a really, really awesome build. But anyway, um, we added ways to get up and down, so I'll take you down. We have not added lighting. That's the only thing that we have not done yet, okay? So this is our little storage silo area. We just climb up the top of scaffolding, basically like this. And then you slap in items that you want to put in there and it goes down through hoppers and uh, it comes all the way to the bottom and things like that. So um, there's only there's four modules of this. We have soul sand that goes up. We have magma, magma blocks that go down. And I'd love to do some really, really nice lighting just like we had in the storage room that I started this video in. Uh, all that come down and it looks it looks really nice. So. Uh, and then last but not least, I'll show you is the other thing. Uh, this is our cactus farm, which again, just absolutely a magnificent build. Uh, it has a speed beacon on top of it and everything. I absolutely love it. Um, and I'll show you all exactly what I'm talking about. So everything drops down into a set of hoppers right there. And then they all go into uh, these chests right there. And it's basically, it's that, I mean, that's it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need to take you inside of it. It's just a layers of, of cactus, unless you guys wanted to see inside of it. Let me, let me actually grab some blocks and I'll take us in there all right so um let me just actually i'll just go up on the side like this and then i'll just break into the side and you'll be able to see exactly what i'm talking about uh it's it's honestly a really it's a cool design because i had to go into like my test world and everything like that which normally i never ever ever do a test world i don't like test worlds i just usually just do everything into survival so this was a very 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 fun build something that i've never really tried before it's kind of crazy so this is what it looks like on the inside it's just three layers uh all the cactus grows up and it gets broken by fence gates which are open so so they're completely transparent for items to fall down but they still count as an entity which breaks the cacti so um, basically you know sand can't float so obviously I had to put some glass on each one of those a torch on each one of the sand blocks it was it was a long build it really was a long build and it all goes down into here where the fence gate you know blocks all the water from going in it drops into the hopper piece of cake is done you know so that's basically like all of our builds that we did this week which you know might only sound like you know three four five different builds we had the big void glass area when you think about it i mean we had this huge void glass area which by the way is is like 15 layers deep uh of, of mining out this and in the first place is like a lot of work regardless and then i had to mine it a further uh, 11 layers below that so this whole thing is actually like 25 blocks deep right and then i had to go through the bothersome task of making all of the walls around the entire thing i made them all gray concrete uh, which was was a pain <laughs> a pain we had to add in the bubble elevators we had to add in you know uh, lighting behind the chest we had to add in you know concrete behind the chest all the chests in the first place with the scaffolding and the hoppers it was a nightmare right that's just one build then we had this entire monstrosity
monstrosity right here, which actually I did in, in one full day. Uh, just the, the entire structure in one single day. It was crazy. The spirals and everything was awesome. Uh, we added three new watchtowers. We added an entire map room, which looks amazing. And then we added the goals board, which was so, so fun. This week, I hope to tackle the guardian farm. Uh, I'd really, really, really like to do that. But if you do, if you go back, this is where I actually started the video on last week's vid. Um, oh, we also added the pool on top. But anyway, yeah, if you, if you, this is exactly where I started last week's video, exactly right here, looking out of this direction. If you go back and watch that video comparatively to this, like, goodness gracious. The amount of stuff we've done is insane. But, like I said, not to drone on and stuff like that, I appreciate you all being here and hanging out with me during this progress video. This is episode 3, week 3. Technically week 4 of the actual world. This week 4 come to a close because week week 1 technically was the first two weeks of the server. But anyway, uh, if you guys do, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also comment with specifically your Twitch channel name. You'll be entered into a giveaway which happens every single Monday. Last week's winner was actually a guy named called... Um, a guy named called... <laughs> a guy named... Uh, any banana game aka Christmas and he won 500 crowns last week so uh, very very cool if you guys go ahead and do that then you'll be entered in immediately and then on every single Monday at the start of the stream we do our giveaway winners so thank you all so much uh, appreciate you all being here and I will see you all in next week's video I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my anniversary guys see you guys later also something that I forgot to do everybody is I actually believe it or not forgot to do my stats and my my thing majiggies like that my um, my blocks broken all, all kinds of stuff so basically what I want to do really quick is go back over statistics by the way I do a quick scroll through this every single video and someone noted to me look at this first and foremost number of deaths five right okay last week it was four in reality, I only have two deaths on this server, so I have no idea how this number got calculated, but I actually, if you look at the tab up at the top, uh, Fallout King, I have two deaths, right? So I'm really, really confused by this. I can understand why it would be four now, uh, and it was three, uh, three legit, you know, last week. The reason being is because my first two deaths on the server were actually two to glitches. So everyone voted that I reset my deaths. They were Elytra glitches and they happened on stream. So that everyone said reset my deaths, which obviously would not reset in here. But still, one of these deaths, if you count my two legit deaths plus the two glitch deaths, that equals four. No clue how or where this number came from. And last week it was wrong as well. It said four when I only had three because I died this week to a creeper. So I have no clue how that is incorrect. But anyway. I'm gonna do a quick scroll through of these stats. Um, and then I will go over to my blocks broken. And I actually recently broke a pickaxe again, which really, really, really sucks. But if anyone wants to just pause the video, it's the big one right here. 5.16 days of game time and uh, almost none of that is AFK. So very, very cool. Hey, interactions with grindstone, 69. All right, so items. Uh, items mine, 115,000 stone. Pretty sure last week it was only like 90k, something like that. 25,000 uh, sand, only 11,000 gravel. That's actually a little bit of a staggering number to me. 9,000 white concrete and 7,500 spruce wood. Those are my top five. Also, coal is a very, very low number as of right now. And then time's broken. Two of these fellas right here, no fun, but I have mined 167,000 blocks using diamond pickaxes and then 45k with uh, diamond shovels. It's actually really, really, really cool. Um, times used would be, yeah, obviously in my tools and then 15,000 stone. Kind of surprising number there, actually. I, I would consider that concrete would be even more than stone. But anyway, next up is going to be mobs. Two, two kills on bats. Uh, one, <laughs> I killed one cod. You've never been killed by a cod. I don't know why that's funny. Got a lot of cow kills, 1,500, almost 1,000 creepers. Um, 1,500 endermen still. I have not been back. 63 pigs, 78 sheep, 9... 900 skeletons and almost 1,000 zombies which should be a thousand by next week's progress but anyway I totally forgot to do that sorry guys I'm gonna go ahead and patch those together so it'll be as fluid as possible and I will see you guys next week boys all right see ya